New developments now in a story you saw first on CBS4. We have now identified the two Denver TSA workers fired for what one admits was a plot to grope passengers during screening. Both are in their 20s with no criminal records. Our investigator Brian Moss broke the story of the fondling, and you have now contacted those who got fired. Have been in touch, and uh, both of them are under investigation by the DPD, the Denver Police Department, mm -hmm. and the DA's office as well. They could face criminal charges for what they did while working for the TSA at Denver International Airport. The TSA fired Ty Spica and also fired his coworker Yasmin Shafi for their actions while manning security lines at DIA. As we first reported, the two are accused of manipulating TSA's checkpoint screening so Spica could pat down male travelers he considered attractive. Authorities say Shafi confessed to the plot, saying on at least 10 occasions she intentionally triggered alarms so Spica could fondle the genitals of male passengers. Kept it really quiet. This former TSA worker, who knew both, said he was surprised at what Spica is accused of doing. Did you ever get any sense that he wanted to do something like this? No, never. You know, it's in all my interaction with him, never. You know, he always seemed like a straight shooter guy, you know, always did his business and kind of handled it the way he was supposed to. But yeah, never got that kind of vibe from him. You know, never got a bad vibe, so anything like that from him. Spica, who is 27, is from Nebraska, graduated from the University of Nebraska, then moved to Denver, going to work for the TSA. He has no criminal record and has not responded to text messages or phone calls. Shafi is 22 lives in Thornton and also has not responded to numerous inquiries from CBS4. Her family says she now has another job. TSA and law enforcement sources identified Spica and Shafi. Groping takes place at, uh, all the time at all airports. Uh, it doesn't happen to every single passenger, uh, but it does happen on occasion. Douglas Kidd, president of the National Association of Airline Passengers and a critic of TSA, said he was not surprised at what the CBS4 investigation uncovered. It happens at Denver, it happens at uh, Phoenix, it happens at Washington. You have, uh, you know, employees everywhere who are not properly supervised. TSA has been largely mute about what we revealed, calling it egregious behavior. Also not talking, the two former TSA workers who may soon have to answer criminal charges about their conduct when they were supposed to be ensuring the safety of the flying public. But if you don't have good employees and if they're not supervised, you have no security. The acting head of the TSA calls what happened a blatant violation of public trust, and he termed what we revealed dark and disturbing behavior. We'll keep following yeah. the story, of course. All right. Thank you, Brian. Yep.